once you've finished your final graphic and you've evidenced it and pasted the screenshot into OneNote, you then need to export it into appropriate formats so that the client can then use it. Here I've got an example in Photoshop of what a final graphic example would look like. And then I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Save As, and I'm going to export it into different formats that are suitable. I'm going to choose JPEG. So I'm going to go to the, the format, click the drop down arrow, click on JPEG. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG. This means that they've got the final graphic and then they can use it. It will pop up with the setting. I'm going to choose maximum quality, make it a, a, a sort of large file size. And I'm going to press OK. And now you can see nothing's happened. But if I go into my file explorer and find the graphic, you can see in here now there is a JPEG. And if I was to right click on that and go to properties, this may look different on yours. It may look something like this. If I press properties, it will pop up with the window. If I go into details, it lists the height and width in pixels and the DPI, which should be 300. These should meet the client requirements. 300 DPI is the standard for the printed version. And I'm going to evidence this in my OneNote, and I'll show you a very quick example later on. Once I've done that, I'm then going to make an online version, and this is called repurposing the graphic for online use. I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to call this Final Graphic Online and press Save. And this may pop up with a message that looks like this. You're just going to press OK. And then you'll notice that it's changed up here. And what you need to do in Image, Image Size, is repurpose it to whatever it is the client has requested. Online use uses a standard resolution of 72 pixels per inch or 72 dpi and then they're going to specify in pixels how high they want it to be in this example i'm going to use 1920 i'm going to press ok and you'll notice now the graphics got a little bit smaller but not a lot has changed once i've done that i'm going to save it to so go to file just press save to make sure that there's no it doesn't get lost and then again i'm going to go to file save as and I'm going to change this to a JPEG as well. And you'll see the other ones appeared. Press save. Like last time, maximum quality. You can drag this up higher if you wanted to. Um, and you'll just see that it just increases the file size a bit. Press OK. And that again has exported it into a suitable format. Going on to where it's saved, you can see now I have my two master files and my two exported files. You can export it to both or you can export it to a single one. That's up to you. And then going over to OneNote, you can see here, I have, I've joined the categories together, repurposing the graphic and exporting. Here on the left-hand side, I have briefly spoke about why I've exported it to 1920 and 72 DPI. And I have just evidenced here my final graphic with that screenshot and spoke about the dimensions and the file format. And I would do the same thing for my printed version and very briefly talk about why you've chosen those file formats and why they're suitable for the client.